Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. In today's episode we're going to be extending HS2 towards Sheffield on the eastern leg and connecting it to the middle and main line to provide a connection for the class compatible service services from Sheffield and Chesterfield down to London which are proposed. In the last episode we built this uh, East Midland, well we built the Nottingham Express Transit Network to the proposed extension to the East Midlands hub from Nottingham in order to provide improved connectivity between the HS2 hub station and Nottingham itself so that's all up and running now not much development going on currently around Nottingham because we did remember have to do quite a little bit of demolition to in order to get this to look half decent because I didn't really want the tram the the hill the, the inclines to be that steep for the trams because it does start to look a little bit silly if they are too steep so there we are I've got the the network in now just up to a station what is it that one there uh, Bad Badford? Don't think that's what it's called, is it? I think it's supposed to be Basford, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's probably a little bit more accurate, I think. So I did a little bit of alteration to this station because I really do not like, especially with these longer trams, how it looks when they turn around. It just looks really silly. So I've added what I did is I added two one-way road entrances and exits, obviously, to this, and then a bit of a curve at the top. It just looks a lot better. I know it takes them a little bit longer to do that circle, but it looks a heck of a lot nicer. And obviously, I've got a bus stop here as well now as well. So I've extended the bus stop up to there. And and that's all working nicely and I replaced the interchange here as well just with a one-way road almost like a roundabout for the tram to go around because again it just looks a lot better when the trams actually turn around so there we are that's all up in up and running now got a growth potential of 487 so we're almost there actually even without any more growth so hopefully HS2 might improve things a little bit because I would like to see a little bit more development I don't really want to have to do much more or any more demolition to Nottingham if I can help it so we'll just uh, we'll just see how we how we get on with that uh, first things first we need to delete all of this section of road here and then rebuild it and it's just easier if the road is not there just gives us a nice straight run we don't really have to worry about messing around with the roads and things like that and I think actually I will delete it all the way back to there and I was looking at this piece of track just a minute ago and thinking what is this track actually for? It doesn't actually provide any service. Now I do, I know it exists, but it doesn't exist. Like the junction isn't south facing like that. It should be, okay, north, yeah, should be south facing rather than north facing going in that direction. Uh, so I think what I want to do actually is pause the, I actually don't need to pause the game, but I will anyway. Uh, get rid of all of this track here before we do anything else, just because it will be, I think I'll, should I put it back in? It's not getting used. There's no service on it. But I guess it does exist, so it should should be there now. Get rid of a bit more road as well. So what we need is HS2 to come up to here. It comes between Mansfield and Sheffield, goes Chesterfield rather, straight up and then to the east of Rotherham. So that's a pretty straight run, nothing too fancy. But we need a junction here which comes off HS2, bears to the west and then it connects on to this branch of the Midland Main Line. I think what I'll do as well is delete a lot of this a little bit more of this uh, yeah there's, there are services on that but I think I just want to make this a little bit more curvaceous and I don't think there's any tunnels or anything of any note on the route so we will get rid of that tunnel find our track uh, catenary no so just make this a little bit more a little bit more curvaceous just makes it easier for the HS2 network to kind of come and meet it basically and then going like massively uphill just don't want that just want it to be Keep it on the flat, keep it, it will be in a, that's quite a big cutting, but it's not really that, that ugly actually. So we'll just have it a little bit more curved like that. And it wants to be in a cutting because we need a junction so HS2 can come and join it basically. And obviously we don't want any junctions in tunnels, A, because it's not going to be in a tunnel and B, because tunnel junctions just look rubbish. So we'll connect that up like that and just a little bit of, little bit of smoothing of that. I know we haven't done like a massive change to it but it still helps us get that kind of curve in and then this bit of track here is probably a little bit more southerly than I would like but I don't want the junction the HS2 junction to be on top of this piece of track so we will correct my mistake in the first instance anyway so we'll have the junction actually facing in the correct direction making sure it's looking all right which it is just connect that up it doesn't really don't really need to pay much attention to this because it it doesn't get used anyway i don't think there are any services which are i mean they might do in real life but 
certainly on this it's, this track isn't being used it's just there because it exists basically so can i just do that as the crow flies no i can't that's that's pretty that would have been pretty hideous and we've got a big hill as well let's let's curve that in it doesn't need to be doesn't need to be particularly fast it just wants to be more attractive than it was doing obviously we don't like any glitching of ballast or track through the other bits of track so i think we need to delete this right back actually don't we to see what it gives us if i just come off there straight into there again wants to be in a cut in i don't think there are any tunnels of any note or any at all really just get that connected up and then we need to put our signals back on one way yes chuck a couple of these on again this it's not getting used but it still needs signals is that looking no it's looking hideous let's try that again where were we about here have i just have i left have i I left two little tiny bits of track in there and i've left one more so let's try that once more a bit more attractive please come down something like that i don't know why it's uh, it maybe might have just been a trick of the eye i don't look like it was going down almost but i don't think it is it looks that's a bit flatter isn't it that's nicer so let's see if we can just hook those hook those two up again like so and um, we do have a bit of a bit of a crevice there don't we a bit of a crevasse not to worry smooth some of this off some of that as well we don't really need to worry too much about it just yet i just want a nice nice approach for hs2 make things nice and straightforward so we're about here i want to go to our hs2 track mark 2 bring it right up and can we just go straight across too much slope well that's because that's because you're trying to pretty sure i can go up and over that track from here or can i might have to lower that yet still more so what uh i don't think we want a tunnel don't know no tunnels just want to bring it over here so we're kind of aiming for this corridor there get that in make sure we're using the right slab track with nice grass growing through it as you as you do it still really annoys me i know we've just had a big update i would have thought grass growing through the track might have been something they might have thought about fixing collision what are you colliding with you're colliding with that little tiny bit of track yeah i would love a mod just to get rid of that track in between that grass in between tracks it really does annoy me and i really haven't got the patience especially for with longer stretches and with hs2 i i don't mind doing it so much but it is a little bit of a chore sometimes and of having to replace or paint over the, the grass with the paintbrush so we've got our nice straightforward bridge in there and then we want to head off just keep going straight this is going to be a nice straight run actually we might be able to get a decent some sort of decent speed now we do have should i allow a viaduct i don't know if there is going to be one in real life but i suppose there will be some viaducts somewhere so let's why not and then we've got to try and swing this over there i mean it's going to be pretty slow this connection this spur i think unfortunately i think no this yeah you see this on the face of it, it looks quite straightforward but we've got to get a drunk another grade separated junction in from hs2 for this spur and i don't i think the grade separated junction is north of this piece of track here this that i don't know what it is but uh, yeah so i want to try and i want to try and recreate that if i can so i think if i just make it a little bit more curvaceous i think it is quite curvaceous anyway that's a big big old gouge isn't it that one i don't mind the spur being a little bit slower but i don't want it to be kind of ridiculously slow because what that means is the trains coming off of here will have to slow down quite a lot in order to make that junction and we haven't really moved it that much further south have we really not to worry we'll chuck that on there and then let's see it all looks all looks pretty hideous i'm gonna have to do a lot of terrain work to make this look half attractive i think don't think that track needs to be quite as low as it is and i can get rid of a bit of, get rid of that uh, bridge again i think it just looked a little bit daft if it was too too low basically so we can bring this bring this up a little bit more so come if we do this in two parts now i don't want to connect it to hs2 i just want to bring it round just want it to be obviously low enough so we can produce a bridge but not so low that it just looks a bit a bit daft so i'm going to do this get, get rid of that little bit there and then connect this up hopefully to there collision left little bits of track somewhere have i I left a little two little bits of track that just kind of get randomly left for no reason good so that's done we can rebuild this little bridge here and we want it to be the the china railway bridge because that looks quite nice and why are you doing it in two bits should just take the bridge which is next to you why does that look so weird it hasn't produced hasn't produced a handrail on that side it's because those tracks aren't joined up properly so let's get those up so they snap together that's probably better isn't it and then come down here and we'll go for the one with the pillar get that joined up 
like so and then we'll put this actually this is for trains going up isn't it uh, southbound train so this isn't actually too bad if they are going a little bit slower but obviously we don't want them going too slow we do want a reasonable a reasonable speed to give them a little bit of a head start as they kind of get onto hs2 and that's up going up as quickly as it physically can so this is going to have to come down in order to get that over the top of it so if we bring that down as much as physically possible we don't want to tunnel yeah, it's the only problem with these kind of grade separated junctions they look great but they are because of the scale of the map that we're working with it they do look a little bit bigger than they otherwise kind of would be if they were built to scale if that makes any sense so let's extend that out i think we'll we don't want to be going down we just want to stay stay like that that's fine then curve this can we make that a little bit quicker with roads it's still pretty slow isn't it 50 60 70 we're getting yeah i think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have quite a slow corner so yeah 70 so from there it should start to be able to speed up as it connects onto there so 70 and then it'll have to be a little bit more severe probably even no that's it is gonna have to be severe from here i think i think we're gonna have to go with about 60 i know it's quite slow but we do want to be heading over in that sort of direction actually we might be able to make it a little bit quicker something like 68 it will do we will do 68 i think and then we want a nice nice quick uh, switch on here for trains exiting the hs2 network so faster the better obviously because if trains are coming along here and slowing down they will be holding up the trains behind it so we want that to be as quick as possible and we'll extend that so we can start to start to slow it down bring that over there to start to come towards the middle and main line i think it's the middle and main line anyway because it's comes it's like multiple branches isn't it of the of the middle and main line and that's 70. yeah it is gonna have to slow down a little bit but hopefully it should be quick enough to get out of the way of any services which are kind of behind it and then i think what i will do actually is get rid of this viaduct because i don't think there are any viaducts around here yes i know i've broken something never mind get that connected up it's going to be quite an ugly embankment but i will fix that at some stage i think and this even this track here isn't getting used by anything there probably is a service in real life which uses this section of track but i haven't actually got a service on it i don't think yeah it's quite surprising that nothing's actually no there should be something using that yeah there was maybe it just rerouted itself but yeah we needed need that in and then this track here i think from here on in we'll go into ballasted track as we start to meet the middle and main line i think we can make that a little bit better can't we so if we go with go with slab to about there no maybe maybe we can curve it to meet the middle and main line a little bit and then just and then just do that no <laughs> no we can't just do that right can i get you on there and then bring you around maybe just delete a little bit and then go to ballasted track to meet the line there so 850 it's, it's pretty slow isn't it can we do a little bit better 55 still pretty rubbish yeah not to worry and then this junction here is probably a little bit too close to this where it goes into four tracks but again it's just the, it's just the scale that we're working to so we can't really do anything about it now i did have a look at the detailed maps actually for this and i couldn't see if this junction was grade separated or not and i'm imagining probably not i know the hs2 junctions are definitely grade separated they need to be in order to work you know fully to their full potential but i'm guessing this branch of the middle main line i'm guess i keep calling it the middle main line you someone will correct me if i'm wrong but yeah i'm pretty sure looking at the the diagram for this that it is um, proposed that it's going to be a flat junction so that's what we will do we'll just have a flat junction in there because again it's not that busy anyway is it so it's not the end of the world if it is flat it's not really causing any co uh, massive conflicts it's not like around crew with the west coast main line where really if it was a flat junction it would create a conflict and it would completely destroy all of the benefits of hs2 for the classic network in that it releases capacity for other services so that's why i guess the grade separated junctions are more important around the west coast main line than they would be on this which has relatively few services probably keeps helps to keep the cost down as well because it's only going to think it's going to be used by two trains an hour possibly from sheffield and chesterfield and then obviously onto hs2 and then all the way down south hopefully that's if they build the eastern leg there's still it's still a little bit well it feels like it's a little bit up in the air with the phase 2b eastern leg now the phase 2a section has just been passed through parliament so that is definitely going ahead that is 
kind of a, a that's that's a given now basically that that is going to go ahead but the eastern leg I, I still think that some people in government would like to maybe not do the eastern leg and try and save a bit of, m bit of money not a huge deal of money because most of the kind of cost of hs2 is born at the bottom the london end of it isn't it with euston station and all of the tunneling that i'm doing through london and through the chiltern so comparatively the comparatively is that even a word comparably the eastern leg is probably one of the cheaper legs of the route even when compared to the western leg which obviously has tunneling underneath manchester again which is going to be costly so let's uh, let's just hope they do build it and they don't kind of try and backtrack on that now we want to do a little bit of a little bit of detailing on this not detailing you know what i mean my usual uh, let's just search I've got so many assets and things now and i don't think the retaining walls have got their own section so it's just a lot quicker to search for it and now i want this to be Minus 12, want it to be underneath the track. Just want a little bit of an overlap. Do I want it to be 10 or 5? Just a little bit of an overlap with the actual bridge itself. And then what I normally do is just do like an overlap like that, just so that it merges in nicely with each other and gives you kind of some steps and looks and looks better. I don't usually adjust the terrain because I will just paint that. But I'll just give this like a little bit of a supporting structure because it just looks like it's just supported on the ground, which obviously it wouldn't be in real life so you just make that look a little bit a little bit nicer a bit a little bit more realistic i know there's some bit of terrain glitching under there but there's not a lot, a lot i can do other than using the paintbrush and again on this side we'll just put a couple of like buttresses on there just to make that look better and it does so yeah a little bit of a little bit of support for the track have i done it on this side i've done it on one side but on the other just put those in there like that i know it's not high detailing but it just all adds to make it look a little bit more attractive and hide some of the glitching that you sometimes get like in there and there as well just bring that round I'm surprised i haven't done that bit actually must have done a little bit of work on that so we've got all that in place now we need to reconnect our roads up so let's reconnect these got a road bridge over that should be more than high enough to get a road bridge in. So this is going to, what kind of road bridges have we got? It's going to be new, isn't it? Because obviously it's going to be a brand new structure. But I'm not, I don't know if I'm a fan of, I subscribe to these for some reason. I don't, East, uh, East Pavilion is bridge thick. I don't know if I'm a fan of them. They look a little bit too, a little bit too white. So I think I'll go with something like that. The vanilla one looks all right, I think. And then just have a curve. That'd be nice rather than, rather than a 90 degree bend. Bring that down, connect that up that little bit there as well where was this actually where was this actually going to somewhere over here i've got like these two bits of road so bring this down over here straight across that track we'll go with the older looking concrete bridge i think that's quite high off the ground maybe not quite so high and then bring the road across here i think i'm building more roads than there were originally actually on i but never mind it's always good to have that connectivity there and then can i just hop across no not like that that looks rubbish so it's it's usually better to start with the bridge, isn't it? One, two, three, cross on the level. Use that bridge. It's a shame though that it only produces one pillar, and I haven't got that mod which fixes that uh, thing there. But I'm pretty sure in the patch notes for the latest update that that said it fixed that, but obviously uh, it hasn't unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. But never mind. Get that in. But there is there is actually a mod which does fix that, but I haven't obviously subscribed to it. And now let's should we do this in two bridges maybe up a little bit more across there oh no that was probably a little bit too high but never no, never mind just want that on the level cross a little bit of a corner and then another straight bridge over there no that's that's not good at all let's do the two bridges first one two three and a few bits straight across there on that bridge that bridge another bridge up here maybe on a little bit of an angle and then it's going to be a little bit tight that's not too bad actually i'll take that connect that up to there looks a little bit weird but i'm not really not massively fussed on the road and then just get that chucked in connect it up a little bit of smoothing around here now i'm gonna to have to do a lot of work with the terrain to make this all look a lot nicer than it does which i'll do off camera because you don't want to see me kind of smoothing with the smoothing gun all of the while but i think while we're here i think we've still got a little bit of time left we can try and get hs2 extended up a little bit more northward so we're still maintaining that really fast speed i think actually on this on this playthrough this is probably going to be one of the fastest stretches on this rather because the western arm does have a lot of junctions and it is quite curvaceous and we've had to fit a lot in 
within the scale of the map so unfortunately the speeds aren't going to be as high but i think we might possibly particularly for the non-stop lead service which is going to go straight down to this southern terminus we might potentially be able to see for the first time a 200 mile an hour run so that'd be a that'd be quite nice if we can get up towards 200 miles per hour wouldn't it don't think we're going to achieve 220 on this but anything towards 200 would be nice to see and we'll get in that bridge there don't think that don't think in real life the pillar would be that close bring it down a bit then yeah i think you'd want your pillars a little bit further away from the track wouldn't you but i don't not big fan of this don't know why just not something i personally like oh you will have two that's better isn't it two pillars that's what we want to see then get this road connected back up can i just do that in one go i can fantastic and then get that up to there like that a little bit more smoothing required a little bit more work with retaining walls and what lot what's not but yeah that's looking pretty good isn't it nice i don't think there's a there is another junction around is it either between Chef Sheffield and Chesterfield or just before Chesterfield? But that is just for an infrastructure maintenance depot. So I'm not going to bother with that spur. I only need, we only need this spur for those HS2 services. And before I kind of wrap it up, we want to put on our signals. And I'm using, just using these ETCS block signal to create a block section. And it wants to be one way. Obviously, I'm going to have to do some work with the paint. But we just want to put our ETCS block sections in there. Uh, I think I will have, I don't think I've done any signalling around here, so we need a signal before the station, and I think I'll have two signals just on the exit of the station as well, or will I, is that, would that foul the line? No, I don't think, I don't think it's fouling the line, because I think, no, I think that's alright, isn't it? I think I'll do the same on the exit as well, and then on the entrance, because we haven't actually done our signalling for this just quite yet, um... Have we done a signal? We haven't even done a signal on this switch here either. On this diamond crossing. I think, not sure how many block sections we could actually physically get. I think I'll just do one for now, but I would would like more. But uh, yeah, because I don't know how long. Well, that's a, that's a 320 meter long station, is it? But I think I'd like to see a 320 meter long train on here. Just to kind of space out those box set block sections. But we'd like, I'd like a few block sections here. Yeah, so I need to figure out how many block sections I can get in here because we need store stacking capacity, obviously because with the limited number of platforms and the diamond crossing is going to kind of be a bit of a constraint, but it's not the end of the world. So we've got all that in place. We can actually, I think in the next episode, we will have a Sheffield because I think the middle and mainline service originates or terminates at Sheffield, calls she Chesterfield, comes down to the East Midlands hub to join up with a York service, I believe. So the York service will come down from HS2 and join up in that way. It's a bit like the Liverpool and Preston service or the Liverpool-Lancaster service, which I mentioned, which joins a crew to form a 400 metre long set. And then that just kind of maximises the capacity available on HS2. But we can, obviously we can't replicate that, but yeah, there are envisaged, anyway, proposed two services an hour from Sheffield calling Chesterfield, East Midlands, Hub, and then obviously down to London, Euston. So we've got quite a lot done in this episode. I'll probably get those services up and running off camera, do a little bit more terrain work, make this look a little bit more attractive. But that's, uh, yeah, we've got that spurring, which is the main thing. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Say until next time. Bye bye.